sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight here on the east coast of the United States of America, or from it, or around it, or wherever. Okay? All righty? All righty. How are you all, everybody? Let me just turn up my microphone there. Let me get everything uh, just right. And, uh, you know, uh, this is what we do on, uh, on, on uh, the uh, first of uh, every, uh, every show here. We, uh, we uh, are... Um, we Oh God! You, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Look at that. Uh, I, I'm bugging out. I, I heard that the Chinese are drump, drump, dumping a uh, hundred foot rocket either on New York City or somewhere between there and New Zealand, and uh, we're not going to get a, a, a lot of uh, warning. What have you got that cheesy background there for? I because I have a green screen. See? It, yeah. It, it, no, you don't. You're not using. Show me the green screen. All right. That means I'd have to go to this. Go to preferences. Yeah. Uh, uh, go to um, backgrounds and filters. And it says, uh, yeah, take off green screen. Oh, that is a cheesy green screen. Okay. Well, let me find something else. Ah. Now I'm at no, dinner no, with Newsom. No, 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 no. Get okay, this, get... how, how about me on a police boat? Oh, boy. Uh, why don't you just have some kind of, like, just neutral background? Oh, uh, let's see, neutral background. Uh, how much did you pay for that cheesy green screen? Uh, 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Yeah. You know, for 160 it could have bought what I have back here. Yeah, oh, and I got that. You know, I, I haven't added a lot of things to the. Uh, hmm? I haven't added a lot of things to the deal. Uh, I just started messing with the green screen, but it's a green screen because you know I can I can hold stuff up. You can see it. I can move it around. You don't lose it. It's yeah. kind of like yours. You got New York. I got San Francisco. I'm exhausted enough as it is. I don't need this, do I? No, probably not. No, probably so, not. Uh, did you? Let's let's start a little easier. How you doing? Terribly. <laughs> I feel horrible. I just feel so tired lately. Yeah. I'm just tired all the time. Yeah. It's uh, it's eighty one degrees out here, and it feels really hot. Really. Yeah. What's it like by you? Uh, it's. Uh, let me see here. What's the temperature right now? Uh, it's fifty nine degrees. That would be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm just tired all the time. I can't get over it. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just, you know, so tired. I just don't know if I want to do shows anymore. Yeah, you know? maybe you need a break. It or could, uh, it could be. You know, I, I don't know if I'm just. Me. I don't know if I'm just exhausted because of the whole COVID thing or whatever. But I just I'm tired all day long. You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it could be the COVID thing. It could just be that psychologically we're getting beaten down and uh, because of COVID. And yeah, but I've been, of, like, I've been going out and taking walks every day. I've been doing a, a mile and a half to two miles a day. Yeah. There's a little walk, you know. I should be feeling better, but I, I don't. You, so. you should be, but maybe your creative juices aren't uh, being challenged. I don't know. I don't know. And we also have less people watching this show now. You know? All right. Well, as long as if they don't like watch, if, then they'll listen. If I go over, oh, no, they don't listen either. So, you know. Uh, let me see here. How many people are watching? Oh, 23 people are watching us right now. Well, that's not bad. It's Tuesday and it's me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I go, if I go over and I take a look and see how many people are listening to us. Uh, seven people are listening to us. Now, why the hell am I even doing a show? 
I think people watch now more than they listen. This this is well, obviously they don't watch enough because I've only got twenty three people watching. Yeah, well, what do you have on a good day? Forty, forty five, about forty. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it takes a it takes a little time for it to to you know stoke the oh, stoke. The excuse fire. me, we're up to twenty four people now, but oh. I, you know I'm exhausted. When I do this show, I feel exhausted lately. And uh, uh, if I, uh, why am I doing it if I'm exhausted? You know? You know, I, I think uh, maybe you need to get rid of some of the negativity uh, that, that's on it. You know, close what? that chat. You know, it, it's negative, and uh, it, all you have is a bunch of trolls on there. Uh, I never uh, pay attention to that, though. Yeah, I well, never pay you know, attention. I, to I, that. It's, it's next to the thing. I have another screen here that's. Uh, probably counting one of the twenty-four people. Yeah, if you hang up right now, I'll only—I'll be down to twenty. Oh, well, I'm back down to twenty-three. So fuck whoever left. <laughs> the uh, the other screen is on uh, YouTube. So you know, I, I just watch what what right, it looks like. Right, but uh, if you if you stop that right now, yeah, it would go down to uh, twenty-two. Watch, well, like, watch, see. watch okay. everybody, watch, watch what happens. Wait a minute, we're up to twenty-five now. Now you're down to 24. Now we're, no, uh, well, you just hung up? Yeah, I hung up the YouTube. Oh, yeah, we're down to 23. All right, so, you know, one of them doesn't count. Yeah. But anyway. It, you know, podcasting's different. Uh, even though you do this live, uh, a lot of people just record it, and then people play it. Yes, they... and, I, and I check those numbers throughout the day, and they're really shitty lately. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's time for some new content. Something, you know. You know, uh, you know maybe the, I need to stop doing this for a couple of weeks. I don't know. I don't think that's a bad idea. I mean, if you're getting if you're getting tired and uh, you know your creative juices will uh, will expand when when you're not in the middle of the, of the thing. You know, it's I like don't the, think so. Forest for the trees. I think I don't think so. I I just don't think I have it anymore. You know, I'm not good at this. Well, uh, I, you know, I, I can't. Uh, oh, we're now down to 21. Yeah. Yeah. Well, saying I'm not good at it is, you know, you got to have a positive attitude. The, the little girl who has 2 million followers and she does the nails, she's excited about doing nails, you know? Well, you know, that, that, that also pisses me off. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. You know, I, I try to do a show here, and and uh, all I can get is uh, what? Oh, now we're down to twenty one. What about different nights doing different themes? So, for instance, one night you have a uh, uh, a tech theme. Uh, another no, night, I hate theme shows. Theme. I hate theme shows. Well, yeah, it's just that I it hate gives theme you shows. They're terrible. It's a terrible idea, Phil. Uh, compared to what? Compared to non-theme shows. Right. The non-theme show gives you 21 uh, listeners. Well, and, we got 23 now. All right. Well, hey, things, things are heating up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what do you think of this uh, space junk that may uh, hit uh, 21 tons? Uh, it's supposed to come into the atmosphere. It's the biggest it happens, amount. It happens, of space. happens all the time. Not like this. This is uh, this is one of the uh, this is the largest bit of space junk, and they don't know where it's going to come down. Uh, the uh, the Chinese have not put in any operating system to allow them to guide it into a safe zone. So at this point, uh, it could take down the grid. It could take down it could take down New York City. It uh, could, but chances are it won't. Because most of it is going to dissipate coming through the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of it. A but lot of it. they're saying that 21 tons, the largest... Also, ever... also, the chances of it hitting a populated area is very remote, oddly enough. If you think about the surface of the Earth, to begin with, what is most of the surface of the Earth? Ocean. Ocean. That's right. for starters. Okay. Then you got mountains, you've got all kinds of things. And so... Consequently, I mean, it, it. I mean, it could hit something, you know, and it yeah. could make trouble, but it, it probably is not going to. But uh, this was a Chinese rocket, right? 
Yeah. It's a very large one. It's two thirds the size of the space station. Uh, so it was a hundred feet long. Yeah, because it was launching a space station up there. Right. Yeah. 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 And was this the rocket that launched the space station, or was this the whole thing? This was, was the r rocket that launched the space station. I see. But they say they won't have it operational for about two years, something like mm. that. Yeah. And, and you know, but, I mean, it, it, do you know how much garbage we have up there? I mean, uh, it is just in, incredible the amount of garbage we have up, yeah. there, well, up there. Well, they were on strike, and uh, now look what we got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, the uh, uh, you know the the, the Chinese uh, are are going to be part of the space race. There's no question about it. Yeah. Um, and um, we're going to they're going to be on the moon, I think, in two years. At, do you think it's going to be a private concern? It is. Yes, it's already been the the the, the, the biz, business has already been given out to SpaceX. They're going to land. Uh, they're going to use. They're going to have a woman. As one of the crew. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be a lot easier than the first time we did it, because the first time we were doing it was spit and bailing wire, and now we've got all the technology we need to do it pretty accurately. You know? we, we, we put a tractor on Mars, you know, that, that's got a drone attached to it so it can fly around and see, you know, where, where the little rover is going. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's amazing that uh that we're progressing yeah, that spacex far. has uh has been, been given the go-ahead to do a moon launch and they yeah. say they'll probably do it within two years uh you think they're going to put a tesla dealership on the moon probably probably yeah. uh oh talking about rich guys mm -hmm. uh it seems that uh, uh microsoft founder uh bill gates and his wife are splitting yes uh, they're saying that this may be more costly than the Bezos split. I, I don't, you know, when you say costly, okay, when What's you've got $130 billion, let's say she gets half of it. Is that yeah. costly? You still got $75 billion. Well, you know, uh, where's, you know, where's Bill going to get uh, his lunch money from? You know, I just want to know up. what was so untenable yeah. that they couldn't tough it out you know they had the uh their charities uh to bind them together mm -hmm. and uh they said that they're still going to maintain those charities and work together with them mm -hmm. but they just couldn't live together so you go live in separate apartments okay yeah. you know but you know, what, what why get divorced why not you know, you know, obviously there was something that brought you together in the first place. I just think that one or the other has something they want to do besides being married to, to one of these people. Okay, That's a possibility. I think there's a, I think there's a either another woman or another guy, somewhere mm. in this mix, and yeah. that because what's the reason to get divorced? What you don't like the person anymore? It seems like they get along okay. Yeah. yeah, well, maybe people think they, they can get the better deal, you know. Uh, she All I know is that, you know, more she, money. she is certainly going to be worth, I, she's certainly going to get, I don't think she's going to get half of it because he was already a multi-billionaire when they got married, okay. Mm -hmm. Although they did not have a prenup. There was no wow. prenup. Um, but some people don't get prenups because they find that rather unromantic at a time when they're feeling romantic. Okay, yeah, uh, and that's why people don't get a prenup when they really would be better off getting a prenup. So, yeah, especially yeah. Uh, you know a guy that uh, uh, has as much money as Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. Well, Jeff Bezos didn't have money. Well, he had money. I mean, uh, how long was he married? Well, she deserved to get anything that she wanted because yeah. she was there at the very beginning, that's and what I they thought. created Amazon together. And she yeah. was there from the beginning. So yeah. uh, she des if she got half of it, she deserved that. Melinda yeah. Gates, on the other hand, was not there from the beginning. Yeah. She know. was a secretary? No, the she wasn't a secretary. A secretary. She, she was something, something better than that. You know? Oh. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so, I mean, it, it's... it's um, I... Uh, 
You know, I'm, I I just don't see why they're getting divorced, to be honest with you, but, you know. I agree. Next thing you know, Marjorie's going to dump me, so what the hell. Yeah, so there's the door. Hmm? Uh, there's the door. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a couch? Yeah. I, I've I've stayed on your couch. You remember in Sausalito uh, the, uh, when they evacuated uh, yes. the, the things yeah. and uh, there was a slide behind my house because I live below the Altamira Hotel. That's right. And uh, so they made me leave my apartment and I, I went down to your place and I stayed on the sofa in the living room. Yeah. 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 Uh, we did the show from your dining room table. You want to see what's so cool about my green screen? Yeah, you can push it down. Look at that. Uh, I, I think that's uh, that's a nice green screen. I like that a lot better than the one I bought, but yeah. I decided to set it up. Yeah. And uh, it's it's got a frame. Uh, it was a uh, special from Westcott for 49 bucks or 39 bucks, And uh, it's been in the closet for a long time. Yeah. Well, so, well, this thing I can just, you know, when I'm not using it, I can just move it over to the back. It's got a little clasp and everything. It's very nice. Very nice. Oh, I, I like that. And uh, then I, I looked online for someone else who was thinking about getting a green screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one was like $129, but this is a real piece of garbage. I, I guess I bought it uh, on sale. And uh, B&H had a, had a promotion. On yeah. It. Yeah. So, so uh, it, you know, I also sent you an article. By the uh, way, this hasn't got us any higher numbers here, you know. Oh, yeah, well, talking uh, about our I'm green put, screen. Uh, do some back on, on uh, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I sent you, you an. You know, enough with him going to the uh, what, what was that French restaurant? Laundry. The French Laundry. Enough of him with that. You know, it was a big mistake he made, but come on. Well, I'm just rubbing it in. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, and that's what they're trying to hold against him. Come on, folks. Nah, I mean, they, do you they, really do you do you really agree with the recall? Uh, yes. Why? I, Why? Why? What did, what did he do that was so terrible? I mean, forget about the fact that his politics are not your politics. That's part of it. No, but th that shouldn't be a reason why you recall somebody. I understand. Uh, I feel that he's handling the uh, lockdowns uh, uh, wrong at this point. Uh, that he's not. You do know, you think he, he was handling it right at one time? Yes. Okay. So. He, he all of a sudden was fucking up a little bit, and all of a sudden you want to... That's your excuse to recall. Oh, it's not a little bit. You know, when he uh, totally locked down everything, everybody was locked down. Mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, he is, uh, he's, he's locking down businesses and, and uh, people without... Uh, it's, it's not even across the board. He's not doing... Uh, he's not being fair in the way that he's he's doing the lockdown for instance you remember in la there was a woman with a restaurant and uh they wouldn't let her open up her parklets but they there was the movie company in her parking lot that had parklets and they were uh catering what's a parklet uh when they take a parking space uh -huh. and uh, they they sort of put some sides and the top on it mm -hmm. so it's still outdoors and uh, but but basically you're sitting in the street, and uh, so they they take okay, a but, but but you know I mean uh, uh, these things are are nuances of the situation and how you take care of them. It's know? also the homeless situation, uh, and and the, what's happening is is the, is the homeless situation his fault? Uh, it, yes. How? Um, He's, because I know that L.A. Problem. has had a homeless problem for quite a while. Yes, but L.A.'s homeless problem is just as bad as San Francisco's homeless problem. Uh, and the reason it's his fault is that they're spending bill, millions and millions of dollars, so th th thousands of dollars per homeless person. And, and I believe that what they're doing is they're... Uh, creating a an economy around the homeless people. They have people whose jobs mm -hmm. is to dole out services. And so the, he's made... But you see, you're blaming a lot of this on him when these are things and problems that already existed before he ever became governor. He's only been governor for how long now? Uh, About two years? 
Uh, probably. Yeah. I, you know, these problems were a problem long before he became governor. And if he's going to try and solve them, it's not like he can solve them overnight. I, I don't want to mention the T word, but in many cases, Trump was blamed for things that were wrong and he didn't fix. Uh, so now it's Newsom. Here's, here, here, well, here's what happens. If, if once you become governor... They give it a couple of years. Then if you haven't started to make some progress, uh, you, you know, you can be blamed for it. But the thing is that you've got to remember that he is also being blamed for a lot of stuff he had no control over. I mean, COVID came along and he had to deal with it and he had a huge problem in California. Ron and, DeSantis is being hailed as a uh, as oh, a hero. He's being hailed uh, as an asshole, he, as an <laughs> asshole. Just because you don't like his politics. No, it isn't that I don't like his politics. He happens to be an asshole. Well, uh, you know, I've heard you him know, speak. Oh, oh, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, what was it? The thing he just put into into play down there, and I went, Ask "Why?" Oh, yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you're a teacher and you get the uh, shot, right, the vaccine, uh, you aren't being allowed to teach. Now, how does that in anybody's I, mind I, even make you're sense? Teacher and, and you get the shot? You're yes, not allowed to teach? yes, you're not allowed that to teach. That doesn't make sense. Wait, wait, where do you see This the, is in Florida. I, haven't you read about it? Uh, you, know, you must be reading The Penny Saver. No, I'm not. You know? Or, I'm, no, I'm not. Uh, you know, because I hadn't heard any of those I things. I heard that. He says that people need to open up the schools, and you have to get in, in school participation that our we have a generation and, of kids. And, they, and they were also passing laws down there to prevent people from voting you know uh, i don't know where you're getting your stuff well it, i'm it, getting it, it from like you're listening to you know who, who's that commie that uh, is a friend of uh amy uh you know <laughs> amy, i think com- you're listening to her commie amy <laughs> amy, <laughs> amy the commie <laughs> <laughs> But, um, hey, uh, you know, th- I sent you an article about what was going on in China. I don't read China. the articles you sent Okay, <laughs> their population has gone down quite a bit. And they think it's because of COVID deaths. And uh, But the, the government's numbers that they're giving us mm-hmm. are, you know, that they've not, they had four COVID deaths, you know, and, uh, and one of them got hit by a car. So uh, so their numbers aren't really in line with their population loss. Hmm. And and they're and they're thinking that it's it's covid deaths and it's mostly around um, look, the look, urban. Look, uh, I, I don't I don't uh, for a moment uh, deny that the Chinese may be fudging numbers. Uh, yeah. But then again, so did Trump. Well, and, and yeah. so did uh, uh, Cuomo. 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 Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the, but the, you know, so far as China is concerned, uh, uh, they may have lost a lot more people than they said. Yeah. Know? Well, but, if you if you read that article. But they were on top of it in the beginning. Yeah. You know, I mean, they got on top of it really fast. And the reason they can get on top of it fast, let me explain something to you. You know why um, uh they are so virulently, virulently communist in China. They don't believe democracy like we have works. And the reason it doesn't work is because you can't react fast enough. That if you have the kind of system that China has and they get like, a, you know, a, a, a pandemic, they can nip it in the bud as fast as they possibly can because they just say, close it all down. That's it. Nobody, there's not a, you know, nobody gets together in Congress and fights about it over political, you know. They believe you, that you have a more efficient government if it's totalitarian. Do you, do you want to live under a totalitarian government? You know, I really, it, I would rather live under that than Trump. I think that, yeah, I think you're crazy. You know, it, 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 you know we have fought and lost blood for, our, for the rights that we have. What, People right, come what to- rights do we have? We have a constitution. Well, that, wait a minute. For, uh, constitution we, for everybody. How, how are the how are the Uyghurs how doing? About, how, no. How about how about the the blacks in Minneapolis, who get yeah. the, get their neck crushed in? Huh? This is how one about guy. That? Wait a minute. Hold on this a second. One let's, guy. Let's, let's this is take, not a government. No. What do you mean one guy? There there have been murders all over the country by policemen. 
against, yeah. against and blacks. How, and, how many, and we go back to the lynchings and we go uh, back to. Uh, come on, you're grabbing at straws. Phil, you know how many I'm millions, telling you, I'm telling you right now. You know how many millions of interactions. You, before you go around, you know, giving the Chinese a bad time, they one of them, when they had a meeting or something, it was brought up how they were treating the Uyghurs and stuff. They said, look how you're treating the blacks in your country. Come back to us when you don't have any sins. Tit for tat. Are you kidding? They got a million people in 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 hey, camps. What they're doing to the Uyghurs is terrible. What we've done to blacks, what we've done to Hispanics uh, in this I country, think what we've done to women is horrible in this country. We have done. Our country uh, has made mistakes in the past when it came to the American Indians, when it came to women suffer, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when it came to blacks. But you know what? What? Our country is still the best place to live in the world. Why do people oh, want to run I, I, from I, these I, I other would, governments? I, I, I would think it's just as nice to live in England or to live in Italy or to live nah, in Spain. Would, you know, why do they want to run from these other governments like in Central do America? Do you see anybody running? Do you see anybody running out of Spain to come to live here? Do you uh, see people uh, running from from oppression in England or Sweden or Denmark? Yeah, Alec Baldwin's wife. You, you, do you remember the story around that? No. She claimed to be a, a, a Spaniard. She was actually from Boston. Well, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Said, do you see anybody from Spain coming here? Yeah, I, Alec Baldwin's wife. But um, the, the, this country attracts uh, people because it, they have a chance to, to better themselves, to better their families, to better their lives. Hey, you, you do that, but you, if you'd rather live under a government like Venezuela... Phil, Phil, where, Phil, you're a Jew, right? Yes. I'm a Jew, right? And we're allowed to be and, Jews. And during World War II, were we allowed to just come here and get away from uh, from Germany? Uh, no, but we no, were able to... No, we countries. weren't. That's the answer. No, we weren't. So don't well, tell me that we let have... people in and we give them a better future. We wouldn't let Jews in here because they're Jews, obviously. Eventually, we did, and and it's and it was because eventually of, we uh, did. No, Roosevelt. we did. No, we didn't. I had a, yeah, I had a friend of mine. Were... I had a friend of mine who fled Germany uh, uh, at one point during the war, and he was he had to go through Cuba and get citizenship in Cuba in order to come to the United States. Well, you know, there were a lot of anti-Semites and a lot of people that do you like, know, do you know like, that Hitler, didn't uh, Hitler, Hitler at one point said, I will give any country that wants them as many Jews as they can take. OK, and the uh, the only country that took him up on the offer, believe it or not, Denmark, was Franco Denmark. in Spain. OK, yeah. was Franco in Spain. And he he then and told the why? Jews, wait a minute, let me finish. He, why? Tell me. You're going to be wrong. But they were me. making money. No. The Jews no, no, were no, paying no, for no, passports. No, no. no. Perfirio the, Rubioso no. made his money, uh, other than marrying Barbara Hutton, he made his money. Wait, where's by, Perfirio Rubioso from? Spain. No, he's not. wasn't from Spain. It was Franco yeah, he, that was, was... I understand. Rubioso was, was getting papers for Jews, and that's... The thing was, was that what... What, what Franco said to the Jews was, you can come here, but you have to leave when you get here and go find somewhere else to go. We'll help you get there, but you have to go somewhere else. Like my, friends, my friend went to Cuba, as an example. Uh, and uh, uh, he um, uh, took a lot of Jews. The United States didn't take any Jews. None. No. Zero. Zilcho. Because you had people like Henry Ford and uh, that they were Phil, major. Phil, you're separate. talking about what a wonderful country this is. How we, 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 embrace, we embrace people who are trying to come from other countries. Look what and we, we, we did. People are fleeing Syria. We won't let them into this country. That's, that's not true. We took a number of Syrians. Matter yeah, of fact, I'm, I'm, uh, my company is, is working with the U.S. government to try to get Syrians to uh, be trained to be carpet installers. On the well, level. welcome, uh, welcome to America, where anybody can grow up to be a carpet installer. Hey, you got you got a future in floor covering sales. I'm telling you. Yeah. But you know, look, a carpet installer makes about fifty bucks an hour. All right. Mm -hmm. And so when uh, when we were uh, when we were talking to uh, some government people 
uh, about training them. They said, well, you know, how much can they make? $15 an hour? No, $50 an hour. They said, this is great. Uh, the, the, the talks and negotiations are still in pro- process, but uh, we've got schools through the uh, Carpet and Rug Institute, and we're setting up these schools to train uh, people. To, do you think to be you would have been able to do this under Trump? It, it, was, it was under Trump. What do you mean? It's not under it started, Trump. It now. started under under uh, the Trump administration well, during the Trump administration. Know, I don't know anything about that. But, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I understand. This is something <laughs> that uh, I, I belong to a co-op. You, you understand co-ops because you like communism. It's, it's, but, uh, yeah, it's like communism. <laughs> <laughs> you and Amy. <laughs> yeah, me and Amy the commie. Yeah. Yeah. You, think but, Amy, uh, you think Amy's a commie? Uh. No, I think that she's just so wrapped up in 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 hating. Uh, you know, it's it's there's a lot of division in this country, and she extols that division by her positions. You know, nobody is right, everybody's wrong except Amy and well, her beliefs. Yeah, you know, I, I I think Amy doesn't know what she's talking about too, but that's yeah. that's the one thing we can agree on anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, what was the last? Oh, the last question I wanted to ask you, uh, yeah. because your picture just came up on my Alexa, right? My picture? No, Caitlyn Jenner. Are you going to vote uh, for Caitlyn Jenner? No, uh, I, um, <laughs> I, I think I would vote for that uh, the guy who was um, a UN ambassador to Germany. Uh, 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 was his name Grissom or, or something? I think it was Adolf uh, Hitler. I think it's no, a guy you would really like, uh, Hitler. Uh, I, now, all of a sudden, it, it passed. Who, well, who here's the, guy, the point. Here's, here's he's a gay point. guy, but he's brilliant. If I uh, were you, and I will just make this suggestion to you, do not, when you, it's time to go vote, do not vote for, for uh, recall. Don't vote for it. it it's okay. unhealthy for, for the politics and everything in California. Just live with, live with this guy for another two years and then, yeah. you know, well, John Cox, who is one of the other guys that's running, mm-hmm. he's a, a, a businessman and yeah. he lost to Newsom during the no. uh, open he, election. He, he sucks. Uh, I don't know that he sucks. Yes, he you does. Know, he's I, a cox sucker. <laughs> OK, anyway, but hey, uh, listen, we're running. Uh, Jenner, yeah. I, 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 I like her his her stand on. uh on uh, sports uh, for uh, boys that claim to be girls playing in uh, <laughs> in girl sports. Okay, he all says right. that it's an un- an unfair advantage. Yeah. Anyway, uh, listen, I got to go here because there are people that are going to want to, you know, all right, uh, talk to me. But well, I'll I'll see you next week. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well, ladies Take- and gentlemen, that's Phil Meyer. Goodbye, Phil. Hi. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Meyer, uh, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I, don't know. I have fun with Phil. I have fun with him. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Anyway, where are we? Why are we a little bit out of sync here? I don't understand this. Hold on a second. Let me do something here. Uh, I will um, um, bring this here, and uh, let me. Let, I'm going to freeze up for a second, folks. You're going to see some strange stuff happening here but it'll uh, it'll clean itself up see how i'm frozen right now and then all of a sudden i will become unfrozen and um, uh, then see now i'm in sync i'm more in sync than i was okay who knows what this is all about anyway uh let me see here let me uh, let me let everybody in uh so we can uh, start having them start uh, there we go. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, we got uh, we got Jeff and we got uh, Scott and we got uh, Charlie and we got Alan. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello. Huh? You okay? Hello. Chucky May the fourth be with you. May the fourth. Yeah. May the fourth be with you. This is uh, Star Wars Day. Uh, so, yeah, because it's May the fourth. <coughs> Anyway, well, good night, everybody. Thanks yeah. for being here. <laughs> That's about yeah, it. you had a whole show there. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> what? What was fun? Oh, you and Phil. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, plus and minus. Huh? 
plus and minus. Plus and minus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bill, Mr. Minus on everything. Well, and I, I'm, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I don't like this, this constant attitude that uh, America is the best place ever. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, England's a very nice place to live. I could very easily live in Spain and enjoy it. Uh, I could uh, I could live in Italy and enjoy it. Uh, Denmark, Sweden, France. I mean, they're <clears> all <throat> yeah. good places to live. And I think a lot of them, if they didn't have the COVID thing going over there, I'd say they were probably easily as good as the United States to live in. And they are just as much democracies as we are. Okay, if not yeah. more so, you know. After all, wasn't France the place where democracy began? Or no, it was, it was Greece, if I'm not Greece, mistaken. Yeah. It was Greece. Right? Close enough. Close enough. Hey, Scott Boddicker, gosh, we actually get your presence on this show well, tonight. I, I had so much fun on your Monday show, I thought I'd give you a night show shot again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And besides, I like listening to Phil because he really... He's really smart, and I really <laughs> learned so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's very bright. Um, he is very bright. Unfortunately, he's very Republican too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't know how anybody can like the idiot in Florida. I mean, am you know, I, am I, I gonna, by the way, was I right? Hasn't haven't they said down there the teachers? I, I, yeah, I've, get, heard, I've heard that. I mean, I could I could actually like Trump over the guy in Florida. That's, that's how bad. The yeah, guy but in the Florida thing is, now. Trump said that when he runs for president again, uh, he's gonna he's gonna have uh, DeSantis be his vice presidential candidate. <laughs> I guess he's fell out of love with Pence. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. Pence wants to live. But the thing is, am, right, I, am right. I right or am I wrong? Uh, Charlie DeSantis is basically, they've said down there, p teachers who get the shot can't teach. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't uh, want people to have the shot. <laughs> Although he got it, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't understand these people, to tell you the truth. I really don't. And I, but, uh, you know, I mean, DeSantis is a real real piece of work yeah I, I mean he makes trump and hitler look like angels <laughs> you know i mean this guy whenever i hear this guy on the news i think god i why doesn't trump run for governor of of uh of florida i'd vote for him down there would you you're not you're not a a, a, a person who lives in florida so you couldn't vote for governor well i could uh, get a post office box but anyhow it doesn't really matter <laughs> yeah. i just I just think he would be better than DeSantis. Yeah. Well, I I just uh, I I think it's uh, it's absurd. It's absurd. I think DeSantis and uh, Ted Cruz ought to run together. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They're both on about the same Ted level. Ted Cruz. Yeah. What a piece of work Ted Cruz is, huh? <sighs> yeah. I mean, geez, yeah. Almighty. I mean, he's really. He, he's our boy. But what happens? Do these people actually wake up in the morning and say, what can I do today that will piss people off? <laughs> you know? I yeah. mean, what, I what's, so. what's, how do you, hey, come on, you and, and Boddicker, Charlie, the two of you are responsible for Ted Cruz. <laughs> now explain Ted Cruz to us. I cannot explain why Texans are crazy enough to have elected him once, much less twice. Now, didn't your governor do something really stupid in the last week or so? Every week. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to them. I don't listen to the game. What do you mean you don't listen to them? Well, I'm at, I'm at you know, he, he wants everybody in Texas to have a gun. All right. With no background checks, no yeah. license, Wild West, Give everybody a gun. Let let God sort them out, I guess, you know? Let everybody have a gun. Yep. No training. You don't have to get any no, training. No training. No training. Okay. Any kind of gun? Do they wake up in the morning and say, what can I do to be a perfect asshole? No. I mean, do it, it almost seems like you have to work to be this kind of asshole. I saw on Twitter, someone called them Fat Wolverine. Fat Wolverine? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny with his beard and everything. Kind of does look oh, like that. Oh, that's, yeah, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, yeah. Ted yeah. <laughs> Cruz. 
Mm. Amazing. Just amazing. Well, what's happening? Anything we want to talk about here? Or shall I just call the show off and go home? I am home. Excuse me. <laughs> Our home. Um, because I'm, I'm so out of it lately. I can't even think straight to say, okay, here's something we can talk about. You know, uh, I'll tell you what I am sick of. I am so sick of watching MSNBC. Marjorie always has MSNBC on. Love that woman. Yeah, you got a big place. Get another TV. Go I know, I TV. do. But I mean, I just I go. Why are you watching this? It's the same thing over and over, and over and over. And she likes this woman in the afternoon who used to it used to be a Republican. I don't know if she's Nicole still, Wallace. Nicole Wallace. Every day, at least once on that show, she says. And I used to work for the for the uh, uh, Nixon administration. Uh, Bush, I think. Bush administration. Bush, yeah. yeah. I used to work for the Bush administration, and I'm going, Bush Jr. Do you have to keep reminding us of that every day? <laughs> I mean, is that your only claim to fame, is that you made a big mistake once? You know, I mean, I, but I just don't, I don't, I really don't get that channel. Uh, I like CNN better, you know. Uh but if I want a really good laugh, I will, and and a place to jerk off, I watch OAN. <laughs> Have you seen the tits on those women? Mm. <laughs> Has who here has seen OAN? Yeah, a little. You bit haven't seen bit. OAN? <laughs> oh my God! There's a woman that's on every night at six o'clock. That's got a, a rack on her that won't stop, <laughs> and she's not afraid of showing it either. You know, so I mean, six o'clock, six o'clock, six o'clock. You you know the show? No, I'm looking uh, it up. No, I'll watch it tonight. Yeah, tomorrow. Look it up. See see what her name is. I forget what her name is, but uh, 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 all, uh, it's almost as though she's like Kara she, McKinney. Huh? No, um, Kara McKinney came up in my search. Kara McKinney. Let me see here, Kara. McKinney, Kara, is that C A R? K A R A. R A. Kinney. Kinney? K I N N E Y? Tommy Mc Lauren? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Tommy Mc Lauren? McKinney. Oh, here we go. Kara McKinney. No. Let me see if this is her. Uh, uh, no, that's not her. Oh, How okay. about Tommy Lauren? No, she's not busty. No, 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 no. And it's not K Kara McKinney. A name okay. somebody just sent me. Oh, what? No, what? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I, uh, okay. O A N. Hold on a second. O A N. Let me look up this. Let me see here. Which one is she? Personalities. Let's look at that. Personalities. Uh, o A N. Uh, let's see here. Personalities. Uh, um, Zero. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're not showing yeah, them below the neck too much. Oh, okay. I, I can't remember her name now. Rachel yeah. Arnett? And no. Uh, she looks like she's leaning backwards. No. no. Balance out. I'm trying to look here, and I can't, I can't do They don't even have pictures of their of their hosts. Um, it's time to stop watching it. Stephanie Hamill? Is this yes, suggestion? that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dave Corbin. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. All, all, uh, Stephanie. Okay. All, all I had to think of was, was Stephanie Hamill is the name? Okay. Yeah. Stephanie Hamill. There we go. George o -N. Hamill's daughter. There we go. There That's we George go. Hamill. In right. focus was Stephanie Hamill. There she is. Okay, let me let me hear. See here. I can. I think I can. I can. I can show the picture of her. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, is this it? Okay, hold on a second. There we go. There's Stephanie Hamill, right there. That's her. Well, let's see her. Put her well, on. Well, well, well we we. Uh, well, let me see here. Uh, can we uh, move? wait 30 seconds? Wait a minute. Is there yeah, a... I wanted to give you a chance to react to the latest with Congresswoman That's Maxine her. Waters, See, your colleague, who over oh, the yeah, weekend broke the I've... curfew, went to Minneapolis, went to go stir the pot. We know the area is like a tinderbox, and she was telling. Okay. All right. 
they, but they have women on all day long because it's kind of like um, it's kind of like uh, uh, they're they're trying to. Uh, it's kind of like I don't know. I think the Nazis used women, didn't they, to kind of <laughs> get people over to their side? <laughs> you know, so it's uh, mm -hmm. it's amazing to me. But that's her, Stephanie. Stephanie, what I, what was the last name again? Uh, Hamill. 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 Yeah, over there. Uh, O A N, folks. Um, but anyway, I don't get the O A M. O A N. Yeah, I don't get that. I bet you do. What's that? Stephanie Hamill is not spelled O A N. No. No, it's O A N is the name of the channel. Network. Oh. Like I on A O N A O A N. What one American that? News. Yeah. yeah, One American News. One That's American News is what it stands for. Never heard of it. Okay. I, I bet you get it on your on your system. I'll, I'll look it up because I like racks too, just like you do. Yeah, Alex. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and by the way, I'm being very uh, sexist here. Yes. My, so what else is new? <laughs> yeah. So you know. What? I'm going to lose a few people here? Who cares? Who cares? I'm, 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 you know, I, I, get, I got up to 37 people. Maybe that's because they showed the woman with her rack. That's because <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. But I tuned this in one night, and I went, what the hell is going on? And she was wearing a low-cut thing that mm. night. And uh, she was trying to tempt me with her cleavage. Really? Yeah. I was getting ready to become a right winger just so I could say, show me, you know. Okay, there you go. Anyway. Show me. So uh, well, let me see here. Anything else happening here? Show me the money. God, it's boring. It's really dull. I think one of the reasons I'm so tired is there's nothing exciting happening. I think you ought to cancel your pop-up. Why? Because it's boring. What the pop ups kind of fun? Oh, pop ups! I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. You know, you just. Why don't you instead of saying all the negative things in the show? Why don't you say positive? I feel great. You look great. Come talk on my show. But how can I say that? I'm exhausted. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. You seem to be okay. Nothing. You look about the same as you did <laughs> last year when I got on the show. Really? Yeah, I think you're fine. I feel I, mean, I look I'm, like crap. Oh, well, so do I. Well, welcome to your 60s or 70s. Yeah, or well, what are we going to have? A whole bunch of people that look like crap here? What? What? What's the positive value of that? <clears throat> I don't look, know. I think have, you ought to get that 14-year-old girl. On top of that, we, we only have 40 stuff. people watching and only five people besides me here. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, we mm -hmm. don't want to confuse you. I mean, shouldn't the show have grown over the years? And yeah. Well, you know what happened, I think, is that we're, where before we were maybe one podcast out of 10,000, we're now, do you know how many podcasts are out there? Too many. Um, about three million. Yeah. Wow. Three million podcasts. Yeah, but how many are hosted by a famous Jew? <laughs> <laughs> Does Seinfeld do one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe three out of that three million. So how's everything out where you are, uh, 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 Polish Scott? Eh, it's Ohio. It's okay. Uh, it, it, Nothing really new. Yeah. You know, uh, Cleveland had the NFL draft, and it's going to be interesting. I mean, they were all outside, but there were thousands of people crammed together. So it's going to be interesting if that has any effect on anything. Really? Some Good test. Are. San Francisco just went to yellow today. I don't know. What do you mean went to yellow? A, what does that mean? It's a well, I guess it's a newsome thing on on how the how the positivity rate of COVID is, mm -hmm. and they have got very few people turning up positive. Less than half a percent in San Francisco the past three weeks. Yeah, San Francisco's got it, it's within I think ten percent of herd immunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't just that like New York, huh? No. No. The California yeah. was on two days in a row without a death in COVID. Calif California is the, the the leader in the numbers are being low in on COVID. I, now all of a sudden it used to be terrible, and then all of a sudden it turned around. What happened? Vaccines. The vaccines did. Yeah. 
It's not working. It'll it'll happen in New York too. I mean, no, there are a lot of New no, Yorkers no, getting no, vaccinated. No, what do you mean? Is it that we only have uh, we have under fifty percent vaccinated? Oh well, they're not watching well, this show. And that's with one shot. They haven't gone back necessarily for the second shot. Yeah. Well. So, so something like forty nine percent have had at least one shot. That's not bad. Those people, chances are, won't get COVID. You know something? You can get yourself okay. You can get yourself a COVID shot just by sneezing out the window now. Yeah. You know, I mean, it it's so easy. Remember how difficult it was to yeah. get a shot? Remember, you lined up and you had to dial for hours to try, go online and get. Right. And now, yeah. I mean, hell, I think, you know, in fact, downtown Union Square, there was somebody out there saying uh, joints for a jab. <laughs> in other words, if you get yourself a, a a vaccination, they'll give you a free joint. How many times did you go through the line, Alex? Uh, I, I, <laughs> no, I went, damn it, I, I already, you know, got it. He's on the lid. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, come on. That's fine. That's cool. In New Jersey, they give you a free beer. Yeah, I read yep. that. <laughs> Why should they give you a free anything? Isn't just getting it worth it? The shot's free. The shot is free for crying out loud. Wait, wasn't somebody giving away a hundred dollar uh, savings? Yes, uh, that was North West Car Virginia. West Governor. Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah whatever you got to do, get the people shot. I mean, get them a shot. So How many people are in? Hey, West here's Virginia, my what my feeling about it. If you got to pay somebody to get a shot, fuck them. You know. Go ahead, get COVID. I don't give a shit. I'm I'm vaccinated. You 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 can't you know. You so uh, the the good news is is Pfizer's about ready to approve. Well, not Pfizer. The FDA is about ready to approve twelve to sixteen year olds. It'll probably happened this week, and a lot of parents will be doing that, and it will take us closer to herd immunity. A lot of professors. I have two potential grandkids in that list. A lot of a lot of uh, experts in the field are nervous that we may not get to herd immunity, mm -hmm. and next winter when colds and flus come around, uh, yeah. we're back to lockdown and all that kind of stuff. So, well, what's going to happen after the six months is over? Are they going to suddenly find that it's still working, or are they going to find that we need to get another shot? So what? We'll get another shot. I'll get another shot. I'll get That's being talked about. Yeah, quite often. But uh, right now, um, I think that what they're doing is they're doing away with these mass vaccination sites. Yep, they smart move. They find that it's not needed now, and you can go to your local pharmacy, walk right in, boom, get it. In New York, in California, but not all states. All states are. That's what Biden's going to do. He's going to ramp up the local pharmacies and and doctors' offices and. After this weekend, pediatricians will get them. Those are the people. People trust those sites. I mean, they trust their yeah. doctor and stuff. And th I think I think the rate of vaccinations will go way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was picking up a prescription at Walgreens yesterday, and two people came in to get their COVID shots while I was waiting. <laughs> and as they exited, both of them got shot and killed. No. You'll, you'll hear the interview when when I play it. But I asked Bubbles today. <laughs> I was talking with him. Have you gotten the shot yet? He said, yeah, I got the polio shot. <laughs> he said, I'm a little late, but I got it. So he won't be getting his COVID shot until 2050 or something. He hasn't gotten his shot yet. And I said, why? I think he just said, I don't know. He said, I just haven't gotten around to it. So, Great. You know. Uh, you know, I, I, when when I have a friend, he live, hmm? doesn't he live out here in California somewhere? Yes, yeah. San Francisco. <sighs> so he's the one that hasn't got a shot in the city, That's right? Right. right. But uh, anyway, yeah, he said, "I, I, yeah, I, I haven't got my polio shot yet." What What's Connecticut doing, Jeffrey? Are they uh, kicking yeah. butt? They're they're. They're kind of farting around, but, you know, I think a lot of people have been shot. 
already. So. Good. Good. But I don't know. I don't get. I don't hear much from the governor or anything like that. Excuse me. I need to put some eye drops in my eyes. They've been burning like crazy. I'll just take over for you, Alex. Yeah, take over, would you? Yeah. So, uh, well, you know, um, I, I mean, what type of governor is it that doesn't uh, contact his number one uh, uh, state person, Jeffrey Stein? I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, I want to know. He doesn't call me up at all. Who doesn't call you up at all? The I wouldn't go for him next time. Of Connecticut. Yeah. Who is the governor of Connecticut? Is I he... don't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's so important that I don't even know his name. He must be doing an okay job there. I'd know my Yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't know what he does. <laughs> you know, well, gee, you, well, you know, that happened to me, though, one day. Um, I, I went to my neurologist, <clears throat> and so he asked me some questions. And one of the questions was, who's the governor of New York? <laughs> and I just blank blank now, this was before Cuomo started really becoming popular yeah. <laughs> you know I didn't know who it was and he said well okay who's the mayor of New York uh, oh my <laughs> <laughs> the deer in the headlight look. I, I said it, what, it, what is the problem here you know what's, my, what's the story uh, and and I I couldn't I didn't know now I now I know in a second you know because of all the COVID and everything and the daily reports every day and also the fact that he's been pinching women in the ass and things like that. Uh, he's uh, a tall guy, right? Hmm? He's a tall guy. Yeah. The man. Yeah. Uh, but he uh, he did uh, um, you know I so I know it's Cuomo now I know it's De Blasio, or as I like to call him that asshole De Blasio. Yeah. <laughs> who's just hoping that things are bad enough for Cuomo that he's not going to run for governor so he can run. Yeah. Politicians, yeah. if they're not uh, handing out suckers to babies, they're stealing them. Hey, listen, you know, as bad as Cuomo has is all the stuff that's been said about Cuomo, I still think he's done a damn good job. You know? He saved my life. You know, so. How? Hmm? How did he save your life? Because, I mean, the, the, the restrictions he put in the line and the, 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 the uh, pep talks he gave every day, you mm. know. It, That's it, just so it, you'd be able to say his name when asked. Yeah, right, right. So, anyway. Oh, God, I my eyes are just burning something terrible. Is it allergy season there? It's, it's allergy season, but it's not. they're not that high today. And yet, on days when it's really high, my eyes don't burn. And on days when it's not that high, they do burn. Have you burn, been outside? Oh, yeah. I took a walk oh, today. Well, I took okay. a, took a uh, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, oh, about an hour-long walk. That's nice. I like the little video you did on YouTube, you walking around and, and uh, Margie's with you on one of them or something like that. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we went up these uh, steps that go up to Columbia University, which is just hellacious, the steps. And I fell. And my butt's still hurting. Wow. You I, know, there was, a, there was something in the news the other day that, uh, that uh, some of the people that got COVID shots at Columbia University, the, the, uh, the lots were found to be faulty. Really? No. Hmm. Oh. I'm get, I remember Jeffrey got his there. No, he got <laughs> Look his. On his face. He, he got his at where? Harvard? Where did you get it? Where did at you, Yale. At Yale? Yeah. Got it. Oh, Yale. Yale, Columbia. What do I know? Yeah. Sorry. yeah. It didn't work real well, but the look on his face, anyhow. No, I will <laughs> you know. Um, um, but uh, I just, you know, I don't know why I'm tired all the time like this. I mean, is it just pure boredom? Maybe. Is that possible? I get the same way and I'm younger. Uh, you're tired and you're bored? You're tired. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's COVID. I think, you know, being locked up for a long time, at least you're getting out. I'm getting out a little bit, but it's a slow pace. And I I'm, think that I'm uh, getting out, but it doesn't seem to pick me up. You know, hmm. it's going to take a while. Go somewhere and see some more rats. Do you think it's going to take a while? Do you feel tired, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I'm feeling better. 
Yeah. Well, first of all, when I saw you walking around outside, I go, holy mac, if he can do it, I guess I could do it too. It's quite a slog though, but I make sure I go up some steps and climb some hills and do yeah. things like that, you know. Yeah, now I know you're crazy shit. I'd have yeah, a hard I've been working for home for six what? About fourteen months now. You working been, from home. Working from yeah. home? And you and have... it's just it's wow. almost the same thing hey. over and over again. You don't get an escape. You know, going to an yeah. office was kind of an escape too at times. Yeah. You no see, socialization. It's hard. Yeah, but wait a minute. Let me see here. My rings. See the rings are all. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. While well, they're walking, this is now. See, the, the, the rings are all uh, except the green ones. You can't see because. What it's does green. that mean? Because of the green. Screen. It just. It's my watch, and when and when I'm walking, uh, it tells me how far I've walked, and you know things like that. Yeah. My iPhone does that too. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing that's on the iPhone, only it's on okay. the watch. I, and then I, I also have a workout thing on the on the watch that I can turn on, that, you know, judges how far I've walked and, you know. So it's pretty, pretty good, you know. But I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just exhausted. Uh, last week I wasn't at one point. So I think, it's, I think it's the allergies and my eyes burning that just make it just terrible. So, and, and you know something? The more tired I say I am, the higher the numbers go in people watching. Do you figure that one out? You know, I just sit here trying to do my show, folks. So, listen, Scott, how is it? In, it, it how's your life going? I love it. No, wait a minute. I'm talking about the other Scott. Oh, by the way, we have oh. the, the twin Scots here today. Yeah. I didn't realize that, but we really do. Do you realize that the other Scott looks just like you, Scott? And Except now I get. Hair. I can kind of see. Except for the hair. You see? Yeah. Except for the hair. Yeah. Yeah, one's got a lot of hair and. Too much and hair. When did you start letting that hair grow, down. Scott? Scott B. October of 2016. Oh, is it that long? Wow. Okay. That long ago? Yeah. And have you cut it at all? Yeah, my wife took an inch off it to straighten out the bottom a little bit. But yeah, yeah. level it out. Well, how it's long are you? Gonna, how long? Too you, here, what? move it forward just so we can see how long it is in front oh, of you. It's incredible. Look, look at that! Wow. There, I, I put my camera down a little bit. It's getting to look like Buffalo Bill. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jesus in a Emory shirt. Yeah. Wow. With glasses. Yeah. Yeah. But do you usually wear it in a ponytail or do you wear it? Yeah, I, you have to. You have to. It's, 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 yeah. I See, anyway. I used to have long hair. I used to come down to here. All right. Uh, it started here, but it came down to here. Uh, and and it, it came down to there. And I found that, you know, it was when the time when it was in to wear your hair long and um i gotta tell you i suddenly realized why i why women hated having long hair i mean it is so much tr to begin with if you take a shower how long does it take for your hair to dry it's it's hot here Two days. No, so it's okay <laughs> how many days <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I t used to take my, mine a long time to dry, and I had a hair dryer that I would use sometimes. But, you know, I mean, it was just too much trouble. That would damage my hair too much. I wouldn't do that. To and me. one day I just, I went to a barber, and he says, how do you want me to cut it? And I said, thought for a second, I went, cut, <coughs> cut it all off. And he did. Okay. And I felt great. And I went to this club that I always went to, um, and... Um, where everybody hung out and so on and so forth. And I walked in, and everybody went, what did you do to your hair? And I said, I, he asked me if I, what I wanted to do with it. I said, just cut it off. Just go ahead and cut it off. And they all went, how could you do that? That's terrible. That's horrible. <clears throat> and I said, oh, well, you know, that's the way it is. And within a week, half the people I had talked to that night had cut their hair short. Everybody was waiting for somebody to cut their hair short because every guy had to admit it was a pain in the ass, you know. 
So I'm proud of you, Scott, that you've put up with it since, what, 2016? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Years. What, why, what made you decide to do it? Well, it was the election of uh, November of that year. Oh, okay. So oh. You, oh. And then you said you wouldn't cut it short until Trump was out of office. But, but yeah. I liked it so much, I just kept it. So Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Or dead. Yeah. Yeah. How do you guys feel Biden's doing? He's doing pretty good. I think he's doing a good job. You say pretty yeah. good. So that some reservations there, Charlie? Well, I didn't like that they bailed on the $15 minimum wage. Yeah. I don't understand that. What is the reluctance to give people a $15 minimum wage? I mean, after all, they are working. Yeah. You know, give them some dignity, and that isn't even really a dignified rate. Some states pay fifteen dollars. Yeah. In some places in the Bay Area, they're making more than fifteen. Santa Clara County, I think it's sixteen or seventeen minimum. Well, that's good. It's as it should yeah. be. I mean, anybody who puts in a day's work should get more than that. Absolutely. You know, even radio DJs. Well, so, yeah. Somebody said to me, "How much do you think they should make?" I said, 25 bucks an hour minimum." Well, they say that's what it would be if, if the minimum wage had kept up with inflation since the 70s. Yeah. But what is it? It's still like $7 or something? It's $7.25 an hour. God, how can you even do that? You know? how That's so I little... I wouldn't even pay my rent. That's so little <laughs> respect for people, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And if you have to pay a quarter more for a you know, Big Mac, who cares? Yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, if a company like McDonald's can't afford to pay people a decent wage like that, then they don't deserve to be in business. You know? I mean, well, I, I always hate it when these companies expect us to go the freight for them. They're giant corporations. You know, McDonald's is going to survive even if they have to pay everybody 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. You think you think uh, a Starbucks is going to go out of business tomorrow because they went up to $15 an hour or do they what do they pay? Anybody know? No. I mean, we should just stop going to the, the places where people are being paid that little and say we're just not even going to give you our our money. Until you start pe spreading the wealth around a little bit. Absolutely. You know? Um, so. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, Amazon was fought a, 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 a raise of in, pri in wage. Union. A union. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and, you know, they wouldn't have had to worry about it. Well, they didn't get it. The union didn't get brought in. But the best way you keep a union from coming in is by paying people decent wages and giving them decent perks, you know. Uh, and then it could be argued that you really should have a union because if it wasn't a union, they wouldn't have gotten away with not having a union, you know. So, I mean, I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm a union guy all the way, except my union fucked me over, but, you know. Zag. Yeah. My wife's a nurse, and it's funny. Her hospital isn't unionized, but the hospital next to it is. Yeah. And when the union people get something, her hospital gives them the same. Right on. The union out. Yeah. Which doesn't make a lot of sense because they're still going to get it. Yeah. 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 But but probably the people in your in your hospital, in your wife's hospital, should vote the union in because they got them those raises. They wouldn't have yeah. happened without them. Yeah. Yep. You mm -hmm. know. So, you know, I, I just, uh, I, you know, I believe in unions. I think they, they're what made the, the middle class in this country. Oh, and, Our and, numbers are going up. Huh? Our numbers on, on live chat <laughs> on YouTube, we're at 43. That's what happens when I come on the show. I mean, 43, you it's that? 39 right now. As soon as you mentioned it, it went to 39. Yeah. Uh, mine, mine says 43. Really? I just refreshed it. Still says forty three. Really? Mine says thirty nine. On YouTube live chat, yeah, forty three. It's, huh. it's dropped. It's dropped about four or five since you said that. Oops. <laughs> Up now, I got thirty nine. Damn it. 
Now you got 39. Oh, okay. I have a, I have a, a possibility for your itchy, uh, uh, swollen eyes. Yeah. Do they bother you when you're outside? No, they bother me when I'm inside. You have a cat allergy. I don't have a cat. I don't have a cat. Oh. Oops. I, I heard you talk about cats. I thought maybe you had a cat. Was that it? Kind of Dr. Boring. Allen, Miss Judge. I, I talk about all these cats. I thought you had a cat still. Do I look sick to you, by the way? Do I look okay? Yeah. You should take your temperature. Huh? I said you should take your temperature. I'm joking. Well, I'm you look on. fine. I'll go get my temperature. There's nothing wrong. You look fine. You need a little vitamin D, it looks like. I take yeah, I take I take vitamin D every day. Yeah, well, I mean, you know that, Scott? Well, I've I've been I've been going out every day and taking a walk. I've been forcing myself to walk. Good. Uh, you know. Is it cloudy there? Hmm? I mean, like you look at this. You want to hear my record? Here, here's here's what happened the last couple of days with me. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Just go on YouTube on his uh, channel and you'll see it. No, wait a minute. Here we go. Uh, but to begin with, that's uh, that's where I walked today. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I walked to that. Uh, that's a whole... It looks like a penis there, doesn't it? <laughs> looks it's like a strange-looking penis. Yeah. I'm going to try and walk. It, it literally shows you where you walk. And I'm thinking of uh, doing a penis thing... Penis does? No, where I walk in the shape of penis. So that I can oh. have it. Um, no, it's my penis walk. Yeah. Penis walk. Yeah, you just go the direction your penis direction. Too. But here we go. I, I uh, Let's see here. Uh, let me show more here. There we go. Okay, so Saturday, Saturday I walked 2.13 miles. What does it look like? Does it look like a penis? No. <laughs> and then I walked 2.13 miles again on Sunday. And then 1.32 yesterday. And then uh, 1.63 today, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, around around my neighborhood, it's really here's boring. where I, here's oh, where I oh. went up to Columbia. Oh, that two looks penises. like two penises kissing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like yeah. But I, I so I I've been I've been I've been doing you know I've been I've been getting out and walking. I think you're doing better than I am. But anyway, I took this fall. I took this fall because I take this pill. I'm not, I don't take it every day, and maybe I should. Maybe what I'm feeling is coming down off the pill after I do it for three days, mm. and it's, it, it's, uh, it's a controlled substance, and it's for my neuropathy, and I take it, and um, uh, I think it is, it, it, what it does, among other things, is it makes you a little unsteady. Your balance is thrown off because mm -hmm. of the drug. You know what I'm talking about, Jeff? Yeah, because I was looking at our drugs and seeing what the benefits of each yeah. drug is and what the the problems are yeah. for people who take them. I mean, shit, there was a list of like nine different things that could yeah. happen well, by taking this one drug. Well, with pergabalin, which is what mm -hmm. I take for my neuropathy, uh, it is it throws your balance off. So I was walking up these stairs, and my toe kind of hit wrong on one of the steps. Ouch. And it completely, then I, in normal cases, probably without this drug, I could have right, righted myself okay. But because I was taking this drug, it just kind of threw me off balance, and I fell. And when I fall, I allow myself to fall. I don't, you know, try to fight it, because mm -hmm. then you can really break something. Yeah. So... Anyway, so I fell so on my, think, I fell on my ass, think? and my ass has been hurting for days now. That's a good thing we don't have tails anymore. Yeah. And that way you're tail By the way, we're down to 34 people because we started talking about old people's drugs. <laughs> why don't you take your prog prograbalin or whatever it is, why don't you take it every day, your body will get used to it, and that way you won't have side effects. Yeah, but... Then I'm addicted to it. So I don't know. I, I've known someone with bad neuropathy in their legs. Marijuana helped tremendously. Yeah, but marijuana, it makes me loopy. You know? I wouldn't know that. And, 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 and I do the only I do smoke pot every night. Uh, when I'm not taking the pregabalin, which is a great sleeping pill, okay, mm. I smoke pot. And it puts me to sleep. But then I wake <laughs> up around 6.30 in the morning. I got to go and take another you know, 
drag off the off a joint and, and go back to sleep, and that put it, that lets me sleep. But I don't take marijuana at any other times because it makes me sleep, and I mm. just get very tired, and very sluggish, and I'm you know, I'm also not very sociable. So, yeah. what about when you're smoking marijuana? <laughs> That's marijuana. <laughs> Uh, yeah, have you okay. Uh, how many here smoke pot? It doesn't look like I've got a bunch of pot smokers here. See? Like CBD I've done, but it hasn't really worked. CBD? What yeah, do you, actually. What do, you, what do you take it for? Well, I got like anxiety, got PTSD. Oh, so I'm okay. trying to do that, but I think gradually I'm going to work my way to other things. But Like diazepam? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That would probably solve the problem. Diazepam is uh, Valium. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I take a pr- Lazapram or whatever. It's a generic. Anything with the pram. Xanax. They're all yeah. relaxers. Take uh, take generic Xanax. But why would anybody buy a non-generic any longer? I mean, don't are the, the do generics are they cheaper in general? Yeah. Because I've, really? I've looked at some generics that cost as much as the thing they were generic for. I've seen drugs like that, too. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Mainly, like like uh, the doctor put me, I have anxiety, and the doctor put me on yeah. Cymbalta, the oh. generic form. I only, take, a, I only take drugs that Jerry Lewis would prescribe. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, oh, that's, no. that's why I'm taking Brigamelin. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Lexapro. Not Lexapro. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, the Cymbalta <laughs> drove me nuts. Three weeks later, I was ready to jump off a bridge. Oh, wait a minute, had Cymbalta. To <laughs> had to get off it. Um, oh, I like my favorite uh, uh, food additive, riboflavin. <laughs> wait, these, are all, these are all Jerry Lewis drugs. Well, that's my bit for tonight. So. All right. <laughs> you guys hear there's uh, rumors of a second dossier? Yes, yeah, I heard which that. Which includes yeah. video, possibly. Yeah. Uh, they have a P Trump tape. so far. You mean yeah. there's a P tape? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It, was this another thing done by the Steel guy? Or yes. That? yes. That's yes. the second yes. one that he's done. Steel dossier, yeah. I just wish it. You know why is what what what's what, what's taking their time, getting the goods on Trump? I mean, oh. yeah, it was fun that Giuliani got busted at six in the morning, and the joke going around was he had to get out of his coffin. But you know, uh, you know, he he uh, uh, enough with with Giuliani and these people. I want Trump to be busted in the middle of the night. You know. Uh, and and it doesn't look like it's going to happen, or if they're well, going to, huh? It's going to happen. You think it's going to happen? Oh yeah, they you think... got to get all the ducks in a row. Yeah, got to think... make it. You know, yeah, perfect. Yeah, got to make you it perfect. Go after the king. You, you, you better not miss. Right. You get the low hanging fruit That's first, shot. and then you go for the big stuff. There's a video of uh, Trump when he was organizing that group to run over there to the senators yeah he did no. that everybody. okay mm-hmm. well apparently some judge has that video and has seen it several times oh really but now they think he's he's uh, thinking about giving it so everybody could see it and it guarantees that that trump was really motivating to. to run oh well, it's obvious he was he was inciting. Oh, it's, obvious is great, but you got to have a little bit of proof. You got to oh, have proof. And you know, you know this know, video of him cackling at watching TV when the riot was going on. Well, mm. well, I'll tell you what was worse. Do you know uh, worse than Trump that day was Giuliani? Did you hear the speech he gave? Yeah, bad. You know, it was pretty. It was terrible. Yeah, but he was just a lawyer, and you got to expect a bunch of crap out of his mouth because he's a lawyer. Apparently, he's not a very good lawyer because he hasn't been able to take care of himself, you know. 
And nope. and you know who got, you know who he went out and got to be his lawyer in this whole thing? Who? Alan Dershowitz. Oh no. Oh man, yeah. what a mess. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't say that. I I have to tell you that that I I like one attorney. Which one? Pam. <laughs> who? His wife. Oh, your His wife. wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. He does like it. Not the governor. What it's kind? Okay. What kind of law does she practice? Environmental. Stuff. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> well, any any time I've got a uh, hay. Oh, she doesn't practice. Any time I've got hay fever and I want to sue somebody, I'll call her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a great law to practice. It makes you feel really good, you know, no. about what you're doing. Alex, my, my brother-in-law is an environmental lawyer. Yeah. He works for the uh, chemicals and oil people so they can just figure out the minimum amount of shit yes. they can get away with. Oh, God. Oh, geez, almighty. He used to do that. He retired. Now he just consults. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, and and is she still doing it uh, uh, full time? No. And no. Uh, yeah. No. No, she's got to take care of Jeffrey. He's a full time uh, <laughs> husband. Yeah. She yeah. also has her ninety. Well, God, I wish I had. You know, I wish I had enough fuck you money that I could have a full time lawyer on retainer. <laughs> yeah. You know, at, just so that anybody that pissed me off, I go go sue him. <laughs> yeah, just go so I don't care. You know, if I had a billion dollars, I'd be suing people like crazy. Okay, Donnie. <laughs> really? Why not? Now we'd have to watch what we say on the show. Otherwise, we'd be No, sued. Trump always used to say he was going to sue somebody, but he never had the money to do it with. I'm talking about having the money to do it with. Yeah. You know. That I could just throw a frivolous lawsuit at Donald Trump just so I could sit there and watch him squirm, you know? That, that's what... Fuck you money is a wonderful thing to have if you can lay yeah, your hands absolutely. on it. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I, usually the people who have fuck you money don't pay rent. You <laughs> <laughs> like to the bear. If they're rich, they don't have to. So let me rent. ask you one last question. Do I look if healthy? I Do I look yes, healthy? Yes, you look fine. You look... <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with you. I, I, well, I don't know what's wrong. You look healthy. You look okay. You know, I just... For 81, I, you look great. Huh? For 81, you look awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think you look great. You but I happen, I happen to be 31. <laughs> and you got a sharp mind. That's so good. I had a friend, a woman, that told me once, always lie about your age. Lie upward. Because then everybody will go, boy, he looks great for his age. But yeah. if you lie about your age the other way, they go, looks like shit for their age. You know? right. So <laughs> always lie upward. So he's really 90. Hey. That's it for tonight. We've had a nice little time here. It's been a nice yeah. little night of chatting. Have you enjoyed it, Scott? Because yes, yes, uh, yes. we're glad to have you back. And the other Scott, too. Yes. Yeah, and the other Scott. Uh, and, Hopefully you and come back both and see look us. look alike. And, uh, and, of course, Jeff, you're terrific. And Alan, you're terrific. And Charlie, you're terrific. And me, I'm terrific, too. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give you a big wave goodbye back at you. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the... Uh, that's the citizen panel for tonight. Jack Bishop is next. He'll be here with the intersection. He'll be using Skype, okay? And the address on Skype is, okay, get this, GabNet Live. Very simple, GabNet Live, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. -E. I'll see you again tomorrow night. We have a sports show on at 830 with the franchise MC, and then I will be back here at 1030 tomorrow night, Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, as always, and I like to say this with a great emphasis. If you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, wear a mask out there, get vaccinated, and stay safe. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.